Merseyside politicians joined CWU General Secretary Billy Hayes and workers at Virgin Media's Albert Dock site on the 18th of November to protest at the company's decision to leave Liverpool, meaning the loss of 435 local jobs. Well, we're here in uh, Liverpool's uh, famous Albert Dock today, outside of the Virgin Media Centre, and we're here campaigning to keep jobs in Liverpool. Well, I'm here today to help give some support to the Virgin Media workers and just to show to Virgin that the support for the workers in there goes beyond just the trade union representatives of those workers to the, the people of this city. We don't want to see jobs exported from the city. I grew up in Merseyside in the 80s and 90s. I remember this place when it was just absolutely empty. And, you know, for years after the redevelopment, there was only Tate Liverpool here. There was, you know, nothing else in the building, really. And we cannot afford to go back to those days. I don't ever want those days again when our city centre is empty, derelict and dirty. So it's about those people's jobs and making sure that there are jobs for those that the people who are affected. But it's also about what goes on in our city centre and making sure that it's busy and it's a thriving, successful city. Virgin Media is set to close the Albert Dock site by February 2012 and move the work to sites in Swansea and Manchester, making it almost impossible for local staff to transfer. It's, it's hugely concerning to, to Liverpool at a time of economic uncertainty. We need jobs to, to be staying and, and growing in this city and moving them out of this city. It's a concern to the local economy, but it's also a concern to, to those families, those individuals as well. It's very worrying indeed. Me personally, I don't think it's good enough often. I don't think anyone's going to do it because at the end of the Swansea is really far away and the time to get, to get here to get there is just really bad. You know, I think that they should build another place in Liverpool really for us to all go there, just relocate it. That's an easier option, really, if sort of going to have a job. I've spoken to the trade union reps. They drew my attention to this. I've spoken to Virgin Media executives, and they tell me they want to concentrate on Swansea and that the jobs will still be there. But it's totally impracticable for 450 people to relocate to Swansea. So I want Virgin Media to look again at this decision, to reconsider their position, and that if they have to take action to find jobs for people in Liverpool, not to say they have to go to Swansea. There's lots of options. I know the City Council is very keen to do everything that possibly can to accommodate Virgin's requests. You know, there are options on the table and you know, Virgin really needs to seriously consider them in their consultation, not just put everything to one side. MPs including Louise Elman, Luciana Berger, Maria Eagle, Steve Rotherham and Alison McGovern and local councillors including Tim Moore all joined in the call, Virgin Media don't be cruel, keep our jobs in Liverpool. Well, Virgin, you know, doing what they have to do legally, and you know, this government's talking about even taking away the minimum requirements in terms of consultation, 90-day notice, and the like. But there doesn't seem to be any serious attempt to, to look at an alternative for Liverpool. Why doesn't Richard Branson himself come to Liverpool? You know, he's in, he's just bought Northern Rock, which is a, a northern-based company. This is one of his companies in the north, in the northwest, high unemployment. Should look at keeping jobs on Merseyside and in Liverpool. I think it's devastating. Everybody remembers the, the bad old days when, in the 80s when Liverpool seemed to be losing jobs and hemorrhaging jobs on a weekly basis. And, you know, we've fought long and hard to turn the fortunes of Liverpool round and we seem to have just, you know, turned the corner and people are starting to look at the city in a different light when people like Virgin Media to make an awful lot of money and profit for that company out of the, the people of Liverpool and Merseyside when they're now looks like they're going to turn their backs on our city and I just think that it's a disgraceful attitude from Branson and co. I'd like to thank all our MPs both in Liverpool and over the water. Uh, thanks for turning up. We really, we really appreciate your support. This is the kind of Labour Party that we want that stands shoulder to shoulder when workers are losing their jobs and workers in the struggle. It's been a fantastic turnout. We've had all the Labour MPs from Liverpool and across the water in the Wirral. Lots of local councillors trying to keep virgin jobs in Liverpool. And the people who, you know, who are members of our union are re really pleased that we're making, doing as best we can in terms of trying to keep jobs in Liverpool. And saying to Richard Branson, you know, spend some of the money you've saved uh, by buying Northern Rock and trying to keep jobs in Liverpool. For more about this story and to support the campaign, 
visit the Save Virgin Media Liverpool campaign pages on cwu.org.